girl let me give you the tea okay there's nothing like chilling with my girls just me and my divas taking over the world What's up, love? So it's your girl, April. And today's video is sponsored by Celia Hair. I think that's how you pronounce it. So they sent me their 24-inch lace frontal. And I think, if I remember correctly, it's a 13 by 4 or 13 by 6 But I'll definitely leave all the information below. It does have the combs in the front and one in the nape. Along with that, there is an adjustable strap that you can just tighten as tight as you would like it. And I went ahead and did so on a black elastic band just to make it a little bit more snug to my head and allow it to lay flat. I did bleach the knots in this as you guys can see right here and it came out really good and I pre-plucked it. I did style it off camera and I did use some just some pins to keep the curls. This was with a one inch wand curling um, wand and other than that that's about all I did was pre-pluck bleach and I did keep the blue excuse me the purple shampoo by Sally's on the unit or actually on the lace for about two hours just so there's no brassiness so as you see we're gonna just jump right into this it did come out nice I don't really do middle parts as I always tell you guys but you know sometimes you got to change it up I will be honest and say I don't really like my makeup in this video like um yeah you know when you see it on camera it's just like not the same as in person so I'm not really too fond of the eyeshadow or the eyebrows so yeah so don't come for me okay because I already came for myself so as you guys see I'm just gonna put on the wig and I'm just gonna use my hair clips just to pull the hair back because we're gonna get this thing to fit perfectly now as you see the wig is actually going over my ears so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my rat tooth comb and I'm going to part it right above my ears so that way it can lay right above my ear it can fit comfortably it'll lay flat and it'll look more natural but before I even cut that extra excess piece of hair and lace off I'm just going to take and cut the actual lace off of the front part because you definitely don't want to leave that on um, make sure that you don't cut too close to the hairs because if you do they will definitely fall out and then you'll have to start all over again and make a new little hairline so now this is the part where I'm going to cut off the extra because it's just way too big there will be no way for me to wear this and that's cool because these are standard sizes and everyone has a different head circumference so I do believe that this would definitely be good for those who have a bigger head circumference you know what I'm saying so if you're like a large then you definitely can fit this because there's enough room for head growth okay or for those who have a lot of hair sometimes the average size wigs that fit just right are not right so definitely this one will definitely fit so I'm just gonna cut off that extra and it's not gonna take away from the cap it's not gonna take away from the wig it's not going to make the hairs fall out it's just going to allow the wig to sit tight and just lay properly instead of you having to kind of like finagle it so just go ahead and part that right above your ear if you ever notice that any of your lace wig caps are way too big so there we have it now I'm going to go ahead and make me some sideburns because I just feel really weird and naked without them along with that because the lace is not so transparent it's not bad but it's not so transparent I'm just going to cut me some baby hairs and I didn't want a blunt cut a blunt cut so that's the reason why I'm kind of like trimming the extra down and right here I'm just taking some extra hairs out and just kind of like shred I don't know what you want to call this but you know I'm just cutting it okay <laughs> I don't want them to be all even. And I'm just going to repeat that step on the opposite side as you see right here. You want to make sure that you don't cut too much. I mean, if you cut too much, you can always brush the hairs back. I always brush just enough. I'm not saying that I'm going to use all of these little wispy hairs, but you know, you always brush a different way. So even if you have a little bit too much, you can always brush it away instead of having to go back. So that is what I'm doing. And hope you guys are having an amazing day and I wanted to say thank you to everybody who is supporting my channel and taking the time out to watch as well as comment and I appreciate you all. So as you guys see I did use that um, 
got to be Glam Force Styling Gels 48 Hour Hold. Now, I did purchase this along with the matching hairspray that you see me right here. I did purchase these from the Dollar Tree and they were a dollar. This was a few months ago. So, honeys, if you're going to go out looking for them now, don't even bother wasting your time because trust me, when them things hit the shelves, they clear the shelves. So, if you're looking to purchase these products, you can definitely check out Ulta. They have them online for $4.99 or also in store. I purchased mine online and they did come with less than a week and they also do have different other hairsprays by got to be besides the freezing blast that i'm pretty sure you guys would probably be definitely interested in checking out i did purchase all the other different hairsprays that they had to offer so i will be showcasing them in a soon to come video but yes it does hold really well the got to be glam force hairspray holds for about three days i do refresh in the spray up once in the blue and it dries a lot faster than the freezing blast and to me the hold is a lot better so this is the long wig i do like this the hair is very pretty it's flowy it's nice and full for one i do like the fact that you do get a nice volume of hair and it's also very easy to put in a bun or a ponytail now i'm just going to flatten the edges and look you best to be careful because you see how i had um just burnt myself girl make sure you be careful i'm not really wanting these to be too pasted down so i'm just going to brush them downwards because you know natural hair does not um just lay pasted to your head though sometimes i do like it to be pasted down but for this go around i'm just going to spray some of the hairspray make sure that the roots of the wig or the roots of the hair are kind of like gelled down or pasted down or whatever so that way it'll keep them uniform and it'll flow the way i want to but not the entire hair but yeah celia hair has some really nice units i have actually made wigs using their bundle hair so you'll definitely want to check them out they have great prices i think like for the price of this unit it was really affordable plus the length is very very nice as you guys see i could have blonded it i could have dyed it but i just decided to leave it dark and i do like it as you guys can tell by my face i do like it just a little bit of hairspray hunties goes a long way but for the most part i think they did a fabulous job on this lace front it's very affordable you know you just work it out girl now i do apologize for the color change in my videos lately it is because my furniture has you know i've changed my furniture but i do need to figure out how to get the settings properly on my mac so and my editing software so just bear with me i'm gonna have to just re um redo everything and try to get everything going right but i like this wig she's long it's a little bit longer than my um taste but you know i do like this one a lot and i think that you know they did a great job you know you will have to pre-pluck it and customize it and that is to be given but for the most part it's a great wig so this lace front tanties is cute baby it was really going to be a voiceover but a girl had to come through and give my opinions because I really do like this 24 inches girl. I don't really do the 24 because, you know, I just like like 22, like it's a big difference. But this middle part does look kind of funky, like, you know, in a good way, not like smelly or nothing like that. But it looks really cute. But girl, look at this length. Like this volume is amazing, like amazed. Like I really do like this. And, you know, just some of this on the go. Now um it dries so quick like you really don't need to use a blow dryer with it i mean like a blow dryer will help because you don't have to sit there and keep pressing it in but look this thing is like on solid yep this on good girl good now i did put some bobby pins like on the side because i'm not really sure if i could put it in like a good ponytail because it might be a little bit too big for me but like you know a regular like kind of like bun or loose kind of like a little bit of hair out on the sides it might work like this is a nice wig like i was really gonna do a voiceover i figured i figured i would just run my mouth to you guys you know just at the ends at least and the hairline came out pretty okay you know what i'm saying pretty okay all the knots are bleached this is a bomb ass wig like for real okay so the one thing that i did not like about this wig now let's be for real the lace was like really weird. This this lace went all the way back here. The combs was back here. But the cap, I think if the combs were where they would have supposed to have been, it would have been too big. Like the cap would have been too big. Like that was weird for me to have to cut it like that. But you know, I worked through it, but it was kind of weird to have to cut it like that. But okay, so it did shed a little bit, not excessively, but it did shed. Pre-plugged hairline, if you want it already done like that, it comes like that. So you don't have to do anything. Of course I did. I bleached and pre-plucked. So you know, your girl had to 
like put her own little special touch on it. And it's cute. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is nice. It's not too much density. I cannot remember what it was that I got, like what I asked for, but I will, I know, I just remember it's 24 inches, but you know, but girl, let me tell y'all, I got to go. I got to get to the store. You know, I love you guys. And I will see you guys in another video. Oh, 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 oh